Lesson 3.2a, Opposites, Positive and Negative Rational Numbers. This is the first part of 3.2. Positive numbers are greater than zero. They're located to the right side of the zero on a number line. And negative numbers are less than zero. They're located to the left side of zero on a number line. Opposites are the same distance from zero on the number line, but on different sides of zero. Negative two and two are opposite numbers. They're both two jumps away from zero on different sides of zero. We learned about that in video 1.1. Sea level has an elevation of zero. And water levels at a beach tidal basin may be measured with respect to sea level. If the water level is below sea level, it's represented by a negative number. And the table shows a tidal basin's water level at different times of the day. We need to graph the levels for each time on the number line. Now notice that this is labeled A, B, C, D, and E. So once we plot these points, we need to label those points with those letters. We have at 4 a.m., it's at 4.5, and we can see this is in feet. Now, 0.5 is 5 tenths, which is half. And we would plot our point halfway between two numbers. So positive 4.5, it's greater than 4. 4.5 would be here, and that would be A. B is a positive 3.5. That's greater than 3. That would be in between 3 and 4. That would be B. At noon, it says it's negative 5 tenths. It's negative half. So it's not negative 1. It's in between 0 and negative 1. It would be right here. We can label that C. Negative 3.5. 3 and 5 tenths, would be farther left than negative 3. It would be in between negative 3 and negative 4. It would be right here, and we can label that D. And E is a positive 5 tenths. So that's going to be in between 0 and 1. That's E. So keep in mind, if it says 0 0.5, that means 1 half, because 5 tenths simplifies to 1 half. So we're going to be halfway between numbers when we plot the points. We can see at noon and at 8 p.m., C and E is when the water levels of the beach tidal basin are closest to sea level, closest to zero. We can also see that 3.5 and negative 3.5 are opposites, and negative 5 tenths and positive 5 tenths are opposites. They're the same distance from zero. These are the same distance from zero, and these are the same distance from zero on opposite sides of zero, on different sides of zero. We can plot points in increments of fourths on the number line. If we saw 25 hundredths, that's one fourth. If we saw 5 tenths or 50 hundredths, that would be half. And if we saw 0 0.75, 75 hundredths, that's three fourths. Here it's saying at 4 a.m. it was at 4 and 75 hundredths. That would be 4 and 3 fourths. Here, at 8 a.m., it was 3 and 1 fourth. At noon, it was negative 1. At 4 p.m., it was negative 3 and 1 fourth. And at 8 p.m., it was at 1. So for negative 3 and 1 fourth, that would be right here. We would plot that farther to the left than 3 at 3 and 1 fourth. Negative 3 and 25 hundredths is farther left on the number line than negative 3. And 3 and 25 hundredths, which would be 
right here, it would be 3 and 1 fourth, is farther right on the number line than 3. We can find opposites of rational numbers the same way we found the opposites of integers. We learned that in video 1.1, which is linked in this description. Two rational numbers are opposites if they're the same distance from zero, but on different sides of zero. Negative 1 and 3 fourths, which is right here, and positive 1 and 3 fourths are opposites. They're both 1 and 3 fourths from zero, but on different sides of zero. So just as with positive and negative integers, the opposite of a positive rational number is a negative rational number, and the opposite of a negative rational number is a positive rational number. Here we have a vertical number line. We need to graph the opposite of negative 1 and 3 fourths. So the opposite of this is just going to be it as a positive. So we look for positive 1 and 3 fourths. Here's 1. Here would be 1 and a half. This would be a positive 1 and 3 fourths. Here we need to graph the opposite of a positive 2 and 1 fourth. That would be a negative 2 and 1 fourth. Here's negative 2. We would have to go down further. If this would be about 2 and a half, it would be between the negative 2 and the negative 3. We want 1 fourth. So negative 2 and 1 fourth would be here. It would be farther away from 0 than negative 2. So now we've completed this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part of the lesson absolute value of rational numbers. If you have trouble identifying the location of a rational number on a number line, first try identifying the two consecutive numbers that it should be between. That might help you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you hit the like button so that I know if I helped you or not, and I'll see you next time. Bye.